The U.S. Navy has combined two undersea warfare courses that pit two platforms against each other, according to the commander of Naval Submarine Forces. Today's submarines are quieter than ever before and are difficult to detect and track even with the most advanced sonar systems. Still, it's a cat and mouse game for submarine designers to keep their vessels quiet enough to evade current and next generation sonar technologies. This is the first time the service has made a major change to the submarine command course in 20 years, even as the service considers what it wants in a future attack submarine. The undersea community is making today's boats more lethal through high-end training and advanced weapons. Chief among the training changes is the combination of the submarine command course for attack submarines and the D-5 backfit course for ballistic missile submarines. The Ballistic Missile Submarine Tennessee is currently in the course with attack boats Colorado and Indiana. Tennessee received upgrades including a large vertical array sensor and the Submarine Warfare Federated Tactical System, making it an exceptionally capable platform. With the inclusion of the Ballistic Missile Subs, we're literally operating the best SSNs in the world against the best SSBNs and we're seeing who actually comes out on top, U.S. military experts constantly are looking for new propulsion technologies for manned and unmanned submersibles to operate in dangerous areas amid ever more sophisticated enemy sonar systems. Another at sea event, the Black Widow exercise in the Atlantic, includes helicopters, P-8A Poseidon aircraft, surface ships, and submarines working together to conduct a range of anti-submarine warfare activities. Areas of interest include enabling technologies in hydrodynamics, hydroacoustics, mechanical engineering, naval submarine architecture, electromechanical, and other disciplines. Details are classified. A second exercise series, Silent Recluse, helps subs develop new tactics for going after surface ships. Houston would not go into detail about those tactics, but noted that it's consistent with our vision of preparing for combat in the most dangerous decade. Mark 48 Torpedo production ended in 1996. Since then, the Navy has focused on increasing the capability of its existing inventory but did not invest in buying more torpedoes to fill stockrooms. The first new torpedoes are delivering this year after the production line was restarted in 2016. These new weapons have better processing power and software and they have an improved range due to the introduction of a stored chemical energy propulsion system previously used on lightweight torpedoes. U.S. military researchers are asking industry to develop enabling technologies for next-generation propulsion for crewed submarines and unmanned underwater vehicles UUVs that will be quieter and more efficient than ever before.